Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to continue with makeup declutter. Last time we decluttered uh, my eyeshadow. This is what I ended up with um, that I'll be getting rid of. I left everything here because I wanna go through all of my makeup and see how much I'm going to actually throw away. So I've left everything from the last time in this tray. Today we're going to declutter my lipstick collection. This here does not look like it's a lot, um, but for somebody who didn't have much of a lipstick collection in the past year and a half, I have accumulated, gotten a lot of lipsticks. Um, the first thing I wanna start with is this here. I put it at the top with the intention of starting here first. Uh, this is from Bite. This is the Amuse Bush Lipstick Vault Collection. This was released around the holidays. I, I wanna say back in like 2017, and I was absolutely mesmerized. Bite was the only lipstick brand that I wore for about two years. And every now and then I would pick up one uh, new shade. Uh, they had different lines come out um, over time too. And so I would you know, try the new lipstick line. Uh, when this was released, I thought, beautiful, perfect. Look at all of these shades that you could have just at your fingertips, everything from like jet black, or I think it's called squid is one of the shades, all the way to this like deep brown red here. Uh, let me just show you some of them really quickly. My intention was to actually do a video on just my Bite Lipstick Collection, even though all of this is discontinued, you can't get it anymore. Um, this is Beetroot. And it doesn't look very nice, like it's certainly too old to wear, but that deep brownish red all the way to this really deep shade here. Um, this is Whiskey, and I've worn Whiskey once or twice. Amazing. Like all of the shades that were in here uh, that I could use. And you know, some of them are not quite in the condition that I got them in, understandably. I think it is time to declutter this. This is squid ink. Yes, this is the jet black or ink black lipstick. And I've never used this one. I never found the occasion to. I really should have. You know, when you're gonna get something like this, I feel like you really need to try out the lipsticks. Uh, licorice, which I did try. I do have an affinity to deep red shades. <laughs> Even though I don't wear them often, I always am curious and want to try them. Um, and this is eggplant, another uh, deeper shade, but it's this like nice kind of purpley pink shade here. And you might actually notice in my newer lipstick collection um, some similarities in the shades I pick. Pickled ginger. I think if I look at any more shades, like the ones I haven't used but are beautiful to look at, I might not end up decluttering this. That is so sad. Um, this is Sake. This is one of my favorite shades uh, from this collection, the Amuse Bush. Yeah, I can go on and show you every single one of them. I'll pick one more. Let me pick this one and see what she's about. Oh, look at this. And this is Ginger Snap, beautiful. They do have a scent to them that actually, surprisingly, it still smells okay. I would not put it on my lips because it's so old, but it surprisingly smells okay. If anything, it looks like the moisture um, of the lipstick is, is gone. Hold on here, let's take a look. Jam, another deep plum shade. Oh, well, I've had this for a good amount of time, it's been a long, long time, so I do think it is, it is time to say goodbye. Um, we will declutter this, it would be a big step, it would actually give me a lot more room for other lipsticks. All right, moving on. Now we have a hodgepodge of everything. Lipsticks from all different brands. And the first two that comes, or that grabs my attention is the Sicily, the Fito Rouge lipstick. These are so comfortable. These are great. Got two really bright shades here. And I am fairly certain the lipstick pouches these come in is somewhere in here. So I am definitely keeping these. 
And actually I see one of the pouches. They come with these red pouches. Lovely. Put that here. And then where else do we start? Okay, we have some Chanel lipsticks. This is the Coco Bloom. This is actually their latest lipstick release. The Coco Bloom are very comfortable. They are pigmented like a lipstick and hydrated, similar to a balm, similar to a tinted balm, but less, but more uh, creamy than it is emollient or slick. And this is Chanel's Le Lion. It's the Rouge Allure kind of luminous matte finish lipstick. This is a beautiful shade. Not a fan of the um, scent of the uh, Chanel lipsticks, but I do like the formulas. Uh, I'm definitely keeping these. Got a couple more um, Chanel lipsticks here. Oh, this one is also, same thing, luminous matte. And I love this shade. This is Beige Rougissant, and I am all over it. Love the shade. Then we have another Coco Bloom. This is 116 Dream. And the one we saw earlier, or just now, is Chance. Or, sorry, no, Marvell. Has a bit more pink to it. And these are brand new. And this is a lip lack not that much pigment i believe the description on the website for these is that they are very pigmented it's not i think it's a beautiful lip topper if you want to transform into like a metallic finish uh, i do like combining beige rougissant with this and i think it looks beautiful um but i don't see myself wearing these lip lacks by itself. I also tried um, the same formula in a red shade and the same thing. I don't think they're pigmented enough um, for like to wear by itself. Then we have these two absolutely amazing Dior matte finish long wearing liquid lipsticks. Um, they just, you know, I did a test with these like a demo video a review and a test where I took a sip of water, actually more than one sip of water, I think. And then I um, kind of like put a piece of paper over my lips to see what the transfer would be like. Eventually I wore a mask and, and tested the transfer of that minimum or minimal transfer. If you're looking for a matte lipstick with just long wear minimal transfer, this is it. Um, these are, you know, a matte finish, so they're not gonna be comfortable like you know, the Sicily Fito Rouge was just kind of like a demi-satin finish, and they're not going to be quite like the Dior um, satin finish lipstick. Oh, I just managed to grab the one that uh, is in satin finish. This is Pink Sakura. Uh, they're just not going to be that comfortable, but for a long-wearing matte matte lipstick, I think it's pretty amazing. Like, the feat of achieving this. Uh, it is really pretty great. So this is my recommendation if you're looking for matte and long wear with decent comfort. Now we're on a roll with Dior lipsticks. Let me round them up here. I think this is all of them. Um, these here are the newly formulated Dior lipsticks that released uh, January of this year. I have one in every finish. Metallic finish. Um, actually, this is the satin finish. Pink Sakura we saw earlier. And then we have matte. This is Mitza. I am not really so impressed with the matte finish. I much prefer and have been really wowed by the velvet matte finish. This is Icon Velvet Matte, my favorite out of the four. And lagging not too far behind is in the shade Tutu. This is the metallic finish. I find this beautiful as well. Very subtle, but when you look up close, you see the specks of silver and glitter. Actually, not so much glitter, but maybe just more silvery for a metallic effect. Um, love these, love these lipsticks. Earlier we were looking at Chanel, so let me try to round up any Chanel lipsticks I can find. We have two, three, and that might be it. Yes. So we have two more of the Coco Bloom. 
this is in the shade uh, Chance. So I thought I was looking at Chance earlier. Chance is probably one of the more popular shades. It's like a pinky brown. Dream is more pink than Chance. I prefer Chance a little bit more because it has more brown in it. Then we have uh, Radiant, which is a deeper red shade with also some brown. I sense a theme here. And then to my surprise, when I ordered the Bloom lipsticks, I ordered one from Coco Flash, uh, their Flash formula, and I absolutely love this shade. I love this pink. And uh, because it is the Flash formula, it's much more slick and more hydrating than the Bloom. But the Bloom lipsticks or formula does not come in the shade, at least not yet. And I would be surprised if it did because, you know, between these two, the difference is not that big. I mean, yes, the Bloom is more pigmented than the Flash and the consistency uh, texture is different. The finishes are quite similar. They're, they are, you know, they have a good amount of sheen to them. They are hydrating. Um, so to repeat a shade you can find in Flash to Bloom seems to be a little bit redundant. Um, so yeah, there are definitely some very beautiful Coco Flash shades that I'm interested in. And this is, I think, great start for me. And this is Immediate. All right, moving on here. I have, um, this is a drugstore brand, Flower Beauty, and this is also in matte finish. It's really beautiful. This is Autumn Rose. Some people have asked me what I would recommend for a matte lipstick from um, drugstore. I recommend Flower Beauty. Look at that pigment and payoff. It's reasonably comfortable. I'm not ready to part with this yet, even though it's been some time since I've worn it, I'm going to keep it. Next I have, what I can round up here at least, all my Wayne Goss lipsticks. And when he announced his collection spring of last year, uh, I was all over it. I believe I have maybe two more shades or one more shade. And um, yeah, I just really enjoy his selection of nude pinks. Um, if you're into nudes that are <laughs> pink tone, you will find a shade or three from his collection. Uh, so this is, yes, uh, these are the three lip glosses that I got and then the uh, lipsticks. These have a sand finish. Um, Magnolia is probably his most popular shade. It's so wearable, suitable for many different skin tones. Uh, it's probably my favorite shade. And before Magnolia came along, my favorite shade was Daisy. I just love these pinks. And Daisy, I've worn a good amount of times. Whenever I'm not sure what to put with my look, and I'm like, oh, let me just, you know, do a new look. I would just choose Daisy. Uh, this is Camellia, and this is quite a nude. Um, it doesn't have as much pink as Daisy. Uh, this is definitely more like beigey with some brown in it. And then here I have Lily, uh, which is the deepest shade. And I don't find myself going for this as much. I prefer, you know, the brighter pink or the more nude. And then as for the lip glosses, they are wonderful. Um, so these lip glosses, especially the shade Hyacinth, I love using that on top of the lip liner, but you can also use it to top any of the pink nudes to turn it into a uh, glossy pink lipstick. It's just beautiful. And if you didn't want to add any more pink, you could also, which I picked up, um, this nude shade here which is Tulip, you can add Tulip just for some um, glossy finish. It also lines up the uh, lipstick as well. And then we have Cherry Blossom, which is more like a medium pink. And then you can, of course, mix and match however you like. Very versatile lipstick collection. 
a bunch of nudes and there's a few pop shades here. I think there is a red too. So I will be keeping, um, all that to say, we'll be keeping um, everything from my Wayne Goss collection. I do see a few liquid lipsticks here and lip glosses. Um, oh, and a cute little sample here. Uh, yeah, so these ones here, I'm actually ready to part with. This is from, if you guessed, Bite, yes, that is it. And I actually really enjoyed this lip gloss. Um, it is like Tulip that we saw before um, from Wayne Goss. It is more nude. I think it has a touch more pigment to it, and it is um, pretty shiny. Interestingly, the smell has not gone bad. I'm not sure I would wear it on my lips. I love this. I love adding this on top of everything. Um, but it is time to part with it. I've had it for a good four years. And then this is a liquid lipstick from Tarte. I had a moment with these. I wanted so many Tarte liquid lipsticks. Uh, this is Park Ave Princess. These are fairly drying. I, I love the shades, but they're just too drying for me. And I think I've worn it maybe twice. So I'm gonna declutter this. And we have some more here. Um, this is in the shade Birthday Suit, which is the shade that really got me looking into this. Uh, this is more liquidy. This is more moussey in texture. And I believe it. Um, these came out after that kind of velvet matte finish or Oost lipsticks uh, came out in Korea and was very popular. We saw Tarte coming out with these, but it is time to declutter them. And then I think another one I have here that is more liquid in texture, oh no, this is moussey as well, is Namaste. Look how pretty this pink is. I have a type, either orangey pink um, or like brownish pink or just like mauve or just pink. <laughs> A lot of pink and then I picked up some or picked up one lip gloss I have a few more from Pat McGrath I just don't find myself wearing them uh, I really wanted to try her lip gloss formula these do have a sweet caramel scent to them or sugar scent if you will I think I'm ready to part with it uh, this is a sample of uh, rare beauty Selena Gomez's brand and this is actually very light in color payoff. I think the whole concept of this was that, uh, what was it, the Vulnerable Collection, or Nearly Neutral is a shade, but it's more like a, you know, tinted balm. Uh, don't find myself wearing that very much, or won't be finding myself wearing this very much, so I'm gonna declutter this. And I'm on the fence with Pat McGrath because, I, you know, I do wanna have, uh, because I collect her eyeshadows, uh, I do wanna have more of her products on hand to kind of swatch and compare. So maybe I will keep this. I'm going to set this right here for now. Speaking of Pat McGrath, I got two more products here from her. Um, this is from her lipstick collection. This is the Blitz Trance Formula, if I remember correctly, in Lady Stardust. I am taken <laughs> by how glittery the packaging is. And these lips, they stand out no matter how you place them. I'm running out of room here, so let's see. Yet again, more pink. I will definitely be keeping this. And then we have Bourdois Rosé from her Lip Divinal Collection. Uh, this here is a, I guess, a lip lipstick lip gloss hybrid. It does have a shine to it, fairly hydrating. Similar sweet scent to the lip balms, but not quite the same. I will be keeping this so you guys can see a lot of pink. Then we have, oh, I should say, I have a lot of boxes. We looked at all the lipsticks for Chanel and Dior, and I have the boxes here. I do think it is time to declutter the boxes. Yes, let's go ahead and do that. Um, all the shades are printed, at least for Chanel and Dior, are printed at the um, bottom of the lipstick. So I can find that there. I'm happy to uh, part with these. And same thing with the Chanel lipsticks as well. So I can declutter the boxes. Um, for the Dior lipsticks, I mentioned this in my initial review video, but I think it's worth it to talk about again, 
is that at the very top, you can see the finish is different between the three. Well, maybe not so much these two here. These two are matte because they are of the, or they are boxes for the velvet matte and matte finish. So this is the velvet matte finish icon. This is the matte Mitza. This here is for the satin finish, pink Sakura. Uh, so it's like in a glossy or satin-y finish. So I just wanted to show that real quick. I'm ready to declutter this. Then we have um, the other two Pat McGrath lip glosses. I got a trio of them. I mean, they are really beautiful shades. I just don't find myself using them. Nice, beautiful pink. Love the sweet scent. Uh, might keep this for, uh, for some time until the next declutter, possibly. Then I have a few different things here. These are Korean lipsticks that I ordered last year because I wanted to try um, more Korean makeup. And these all have that velvet matte finish. And I love the shade. So this here is number, th number two or number three, Milk Tea. The only issue I find with these lipsticks is that they're pretty drying. And because of that, I really don't go back for them. I love, I mean, it looks so similar to the Tarte shades that I have. And I just find myself not going back for them for that reason. So I think I will declutter these. Um, then I have here a YSL liquid stain or water stain. And this will be, it'll take quite a while to get it off my hands, actually. Um, the Tarte Park Ave Princess, also with water and a um, magic eraser or makeup eraser, could not get it off, need a makeup remover. Same thing with this. Um, I like how this feels, actually. It goes on like water and then um, semi dries down. It doesn't really drive down fully. It, it stays uh, a little bit tacky in a comfortable way. Um, and it has like long stain power. It's pretty pigmented. You can build on it. I really dislike the scent. Uh, the scent, I just, I don't want to wear this because of the scent. So I'm decluttering this. And speaking of YSL, I have two more. These are my favorite YSL lipsticks from the Volupte line and both are limited edition. The Rock and Shine is a limited edition. I'm not sure if they're bringing it back with other shades. It has like a slight subtle metallic finish. The star you see down the center, I love explaining this every time I show the lipstick. Um, it's not a uh, embossing uh, or kind of like an overspray at the very top. The star is throughout the entire lipstick. So with every application, you're gonna get some silver sparkles mixed in with the lipstick shade. And love these, love the cases. This is in Rose Saint Germain, I wanna say, and uh, it has a very glossy finish. It's quite similar to Bourdois Rose. I think we did some comparisons before um, where this was maybe brighter I will be keeping both of these. And speaking of shiny, glossy lipsticks here, I, I'm just gonna, oh, these are the mattes, but I'm gonna pick up a few more that comes to mind when I think of comfort, gloss, shiny. From Chantecaille, I do love this. This was the first um, kind of lipstick, lip gloss hybrid lipstick that I purchased. Uh, also has like a sweet, sugar cream and sugar scent definitely keeping this this is from their um this is lip chic from their lip chic line and i think the conservation idea was for hummingbirds and then this is from surat this is their lip sleek also very comfortable lipstick not all that pigmented but it has this nice barbie pink the shade is called bonbon this. this is from Chantecaille as well. It's basically their 
tinted lip balm and I will be keeping this as well. I really want to try a number of Chantecai products, which is why I have um, like the regular lipstick, the lip chic, the tinted lip balm. I also picked this up earlier, their matte stillo. I actually really enjoy these. I think these are a bit underrated to be honest. Um, they have a matte finish with a slight sheen because these are fairly comfortable. Um, if you were to ask me, I really want some matte lipsticks, but I also really want comfort at the same time. I think this is just the compromise for them. My favorite shade is Aster. And so you can kind of see the finish. Now I do have some glitter left from the other swatches I did. Uh, let me put this here. So you might be able to see the finish a little bit better. So this is the standout shade for me, Aster. Um, I think whenever you, yes, whenever you turn up, turn this for more product, it actually sharpens it as it comes up. So I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I think these are a little bit underrated. I, I do enjoy these. They're actually pretty comfortable for a matte lipstick. And then we have more boxes, more boxes. Um, I will be decluttering both of them. Next we have some other, uh, another Tarte liquid lipstick and something from a Korean brand, 3 Concept. Uh, this was sent to me by Salvana and I quite enjoy the pigment I got out of this. It's drying as well, but I don't have anything quite in the shade. So I'm actually gonna keep this and it's fairly new. Uh, this here, I am decluttering. You guys will see, you're like, oh, this looks like all the other shades. <laughs> all the other shades you showed us with your liquid lipsticks. Um, had this for some time, we'll be decluttering. We had a good run, I've worn this. Uh, I wanna say this might be my second tube of this, but yeah, we had a good run. I've worn this many times. Then we have another Bite Beauty collection. This is the Deconstructed Rose. And they are lip glosses. I just love how it looks. It's, it is the reason why I could not part with this for the longest time. I've had this longer than I've had the Amuse Bush Vault collection. My goodness. Look at this coral shade. And I have not worn this for as long as I can remember at this point. But I think I used to wear this shade a lot in this one here. Sometimes the shade might try a red from time to time. Uh, I know I'm drawn to this as well. But I just, you know, even to take out to swatch like this for you guys gives me a reason to want to keep it. But I know I must. I must say goodbye. So lovely. Oh, this has definitely dried, this one. So I'm thinking I, I did maybe use this one uh, a few times for sure. Yeah. So it's definitely drying up, understandably. Let's take a look at this red. Ooh, lovely, lovely. I wanna say the number of shades that I have in here is I can possibly find a match through my other lipstick. And again, I'm just trying to think of a reason to keep it, but no, we're going to say goodbye. Speaking of glosses, I have the Tower 28 uh, lip jellies here. Enjoy these very much. We'll definitely be keeping them. And we have more boxes. More boxes. Um, we'll be decluttering the Chanel boxes. And then for the Natasha Denona, I am debating this because I keep all Natasha Denona boxes for her um, eyeshadows. And I'm just thinking whether I should do it for the lipsticks as well. The collector completionist in me is saying I should. Uh, the other side of me is saying, you really need to pick and choose your battles. <laughs> you really need to pick and choose what you collect um, because there's limited space. So um, these two boxes, 
These are the lipsticks for them. Uh, this is also from the Mini Love Story collection. This is my first I Need a Nude lipstick from Natasha Denona in the shade Amorosa. It took me so long to try one of these. I absolutely am in love and therefore I went and got another shade. Um, this is in Sava. Look how easy to wear she is. Oh my goodness. And Amorosa is also beautiful, a bit deeper. Um, like more mauve I should say. I shouldn't say it's deeper. Like more mauve has a little bit more brown. And Sava is more pink. I love these. Um, because I do keep my lipsticks in a acrylic organizer, for that reason, they will rarely be in their cases. So I will be decluttering the cases or the boxes, I should say. And then I have here the Sicily Fito Rouge. So we saw the lipsticks earlier. These are the boxes. Now, I think the reason why I kept these, the boxes or was adamant about keeping them is that the shade names are not printed on the bottom. It'll have the shade number. So this is 22 and this is um, 30, but I don't know the names, uh, but the names are found in the boxes. I wanna see if I, I remember this correctly. I think this is Orange Ibiza and this is Rose Paris. Yep, Orange Ibiza and Rose Paris. I mean, do you guys think it's worth it keeping the boxes for that reason? I don't know. I'm going to, um, I'm gonna declutter it. Like I remember the names, I'm gonna soon forget them. I mean, the moment they release more shades and I manage to get a hold of them, I'm gonna forget these. Um, okay, I'm gonna declutter it for now. If I change my mind, I can always move it back. Here we have some tinted, I think there's another tinted. Uh, these are from a Korean brand and when I was really into doing ombre lips I really wanted some tint but with my current collection I could still do ombre lips without these tints um, they do have a scent to them like a um, fruity scent maybe mango lychee possibly um, I don't find myself wearing these now that I've grown my collection, so I will declutter these two. Next, I have my loved, beloved Suku um, Comfort Lip lipsticks. Uh, one is in Comfort Lip Glow, so you have that shiny top, and this is Lip Fog in a matte finish. The Glow is in a glossy, amazing, I can't wait till their summer collection so I can try another shade of theirs in the Lip Glow formula. I love this. This is Fuji Shizuku and it's still available if you're interested. Keeping this. And then um, this shade here is Haruzumi. And it's in that um, matte finish. And you can see the similarities in the shades that I like. <laughs> Ooh, it's quite similar to the Tarte um, Sugar Coat is what it's called, let's see. Yes, the Sugar Rush line in Frosting, that's the shade name. Maybe a little bit more brown, but definitely similar for sure. We'll be keeping this. And then we have some um, beauty counter lipsticks. I got these as a gift. I love them. I haven't found a chance to really wear them as much. They're quite a bit older now. I do want to keep them because eventually uh, as I get into beauty counter a little bit more, they are a clean beauty brand. Um, I want to say most of their products, if not all, is EWG certified as clean. Uh, and when I try more of their makeup and especially the reformulated lipsticks, I love to give a comparison. So I'm actually keeping these, although I don't wear them much anymore. All right, we are halfway through, so let's keep going here. Uh, I spot another Bite Beauty. 
I am decluttering this. I think this is in the shade Radish and was actually created just for um, VIB Rouge, like as a either welcome gift or a membership renewal gift. Yes, but I will be decluttering this. And speaking of Bite Beauty, I have more Bite Beauty <laughs> Sephora products here. Um, oh, look, maybe a repeat in a mirror. And actually a matching lipstick. So it's like a little trio here. You have the mirror, which is really cute. And then um, this is in the shade Mimosa. So I think it has a little bit of an orange. Yes, has a little bit of an orange undertone to it. And the matching lip gloss, which is also in Mimosa. Oh, very cute. I wonder if this is a repeated shade. I don't think so. Um, the shade names is actually just one to 12. And I don't think any of these are Mimosa. Oh, maybe not. Maybe this is Mimosa. Well, what do you know? After all these years, <laughs> after all these years, yeah, this is just nine, but it looks so similar. Oh, maybe they are different. I mean, the swatches, it's hard to tell at this point. I just, uh, yeah, I guess number nine is brighter. And this is a little bit more subdued. I will be decluttering this, um, both the lipstick and lip gloss. I will keep the mirror. I think it's a nice memento of my Bite Beauty days. And then more of the Korean lipstick brand. These two here are part of um, the same three that I got. And I just, even though the shades really aren't that much different from each other, I just wanna try them all. I love the finish, it's just too drying for me. And I think this maybe, maybe this is like pink milk tea. This one's my favorite out of the three. Looks like we have some more empty boxes here. I will declutter the Chanel boxes. This one as well. And then I have a Suku lipstick box here. Um, this is for Fuji Shizuku, which is a shade we looked at earlier. Now I'm gonna see if the bottom of the lipstick has a shade printed. It does not, but I'm hesitant to keep this once again for the same reason as our Sisley Le Fito Rouge. So I will declutter this for now. If I change my mind, there's still a little bit of time to come back uh, and, and save it. So let's see, Dior here, Declutter. This is Westman Atelier um, from their Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balm. I will not be keeping the box. Uh, the shade name is printed at the bottom of the actual um, lip balm. And then it looks like we have an overabundance of Hermes boxes. These boxes inside comes with a classic brand orange box. And when you slide it out, there's also the sleeve. I don't really have a reason to keep these outer boxes and they look nicely recyclable, which is great. So I'm actually going to declutter these, but I am keeping um, this classic brand name box. And this is a Dior sample, which um, does not belong in the lipstick here. I'm gonna put it in my sample drawer. Next we have the Westman Atelier uh, Squeaky Clean Liquid Lip Balm kind of pouches here. We'll definitely be keeping these. And then we have another VIB Rouge. I'm not sure, was this just welcome? Like a welcome? Oh yeah, 
explain the benefits of VIB Rouge, and then at the Rouge level, you do get unlimited access to the beauty studio uh, where you can go in and ask to have your makeup done. Uh, you can also book appointments online to do that. Uh, I don't need this, obviously, I am not Rouge anymore. This was just like a memento. I'm ready to declutter this. Also another VIB Rouge. This was either, I think it's a welcome slash renewal gift. Uh, it's a memento more than anything else. I don't think I ever ended up using the Marc Jacobs kind of miniature lipstick. Hasn't been used before, but this is old. This has been at least around for four years. Uh, the shade, I believe, and same thing with Bite, is that they make them so it matches the rouge shade of the uh, membership level. We'll declutter this as well. And then we have here, oh, this is uh, Sailor Moon. And the lipstick's actually, it was just sitting separately. This is the dress that Sailor Moon wears as a princess of the Moon Kingdom. And then this is actually a lipstick. I haven't worn the lipstick either. This is clearly uh, very much a collector's item, so I'm hesitant. Um, this is not quite my shade either, so I just don't know if it's worth trying. Looks like it's got a bit of a, maybe a little bit of an orange undertone. But yes, I do really like this. I have this on top of my vanity and I am keeping the box uh, for collector purposes. Then we have more pouches and sleeves, keeping these. More Bite Beauty related, let's see what's in here. Oh, so this one has a kind of a lip crayon. I actually really enjoy the lip crayons. I haven't used this before. There was certainly a time where everything I could possibly get of Bite Beauties, um, using points to exchange for them, or uh, yes, this is in the shade Chai. And it doesn't look like I've used Chai, and then the uh, lip crayon is in the shade Glaze. And then I have here a uh, Agave lip balm, and then the Agave Sugar lip scrub, which I haven't used. I wonder if these are still good to use, like especially with the glaze. It's been a while. Oh, this was a birthday gift. Yes. Yes. I definitely, one way or another, through points or as a birthday gift. Um, I think I will declutter this because this has also been at least four years. And then more bite. I think this was exchanged using Sephora points in the shade Radish. It does remind me of Radish. And then um, this here is in Demi Glace. So we saw the lip crayon. Oh, this is the, I think, gloss or liquid, liquid lipstick. That's right. This was the only liquid lipstick of theirs that I had. Uh, and I've, I think I redeemed this with points. Yes, given the size, it must be with points. I am also decluttering this. And then we have here a Shantikai. This is their lip veil formula. I think it's great. Very, very comfortable, pigmented. Um, compared to the lip chic we saw earlier, the tinted lip balm, um, the Lip Veil is the most um, pigmented, but still very comfortable, and this is unscented as well. More boxes, more boxes, uh, decluttering both. And then we have last, certainly not least, and perhaps the best for last, is the uh, Hermes Lipstick Collection. I don't have the full collection. I think those of us who have been following the brand, seeing what makeup they um, are releasing, have been releasing, know that this is only a small, small handful. Uh, most of what I have here are the seasonal limited editions, many of which, good news, you can still purchase uh, from major retailers. The two latest editions are the lip enhancers. They give a matte finish. They're basically 
matte finish lip balms. Did I really need both shades? No, I don't. What got me? The packaging. <laughs> of all the packaging, uh, this is the classic packaging. So these are for shades that are um, not limited edition and they're refillable. So you actually don't even need to get multiple. You can get one or two with your favorite shades. As you finish them, you can get a refill of a brand new shade and just use the case again. Same thing with these limited editions here. They're all um, refillable. The limited edition shades are not refillable because they don't make them as refills or limited edition as the name implies, uh, but you can certainly reuse the cases. That's wonderful. And same thing with these. These are not limited edition either, which is great. Um, so if you are thinking about them but haven't quite made the decision, no worries, you have some time. Yes, but these two are my favorite color-wise. I think we have a lot more items decluttered. So I am happy about that. We're gonna fill that up to the top, I'm sure of it. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is take the acrylic organizers I have and place the lipsticks back into them and show you guys what that looks like. This acrylic case I put um, lipsticks that are basically longer, like pencils in here. These seem to be a good fit too. And actually I should be doing this so I can see which shade is which. And just as I was about to wrap up, I actually found more lipstick. Um, these are the Victoria Beckham Posh Lipstick uh, Collection. And then these are the new Westman Atelier uh, Liquid Lip Balms. I wonder if they fit in here. Not quite, but I bet they fit nicely in here. So I am going to put them here for now. And then um, these tend to fit pretty nicely into this one here. So there you have it. I have a little bit more space in each of them for more lipstick, which I'm sure it'll fill up uh, very soon here in the near future. Well, thank you guys for watching. Next up, I'm going to declutter uh, complexion products. So I have them in this drawer here. Basically, it's foundation, face powders, um, cushion foundations, and then I have another drawer up here, which is going to be blushes, highlighters. Look forward to that. I will see you guys in the next one very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.